I'm pretty sure you have also some repetitive things which you have to continuously type and type when developing your software. And I'm also sure you're pretty lazy when typing. So let's see how we can automate this stuff with Visual Studio Code snippets. So here you see a component which is really an Angular specific thing. But what we want to show here is not something framework specific, but it holds actually for any language. We want to automate some stuff which we have to repetitively create and create snippets for it. So in this example here, this is a so-called configuration for an input field which gets dynamically generated. And each time I have to provide things like the property name which I want to bind, which type of input it is, so whether it's a select box, an input type, and then some options such as the label and so on. Now we can easily customize and automate this stuff by using Visual Studio Code snippets. So let's see how that works. If you open the common palette in Visual Studio Code by hitting Command Shift P or Ctrl Shift P on Windows, you can type snippet and then you can configure that user snippet. And if you hit enter on that, you can either choose to create a global snippet file or just create a snippet file for that specific workspace, which you can then also add to your Git configuration. So let's hit for this. And let's call this my code snippets. Now, if I save that, that gets inserted into a so-called .vs code folder, which you can then comment into your repository and you can even share it that way with your entire team. And so code snippets are of the following format. You usually have a description field here or some kind of name. Then you have a scope for which it holds. Then you have some prefix, which actually triggers the insertion of the snippet. And then you have the actual snippet itself. Now entering this JSON string, especially if you have multi-line snippets, is kind of cumbersome. So what we would like to do is we use an online service which helps us with that. So let's go back here to our app component and let's take this specific configuration. Now I'm removing the spaces in front and then I copy it. And then let's go to a website called snippetgenerator.app. You can now paste your snippet in here. I'll add some description, formally first name or let's call it formally field, which is more generic. Then I give it trigger for formally field. You can see here on the side here, I can choose between Visual Studio Code, Sublime or Atom. And I'm leaving here Visual Studio Code for now. And now we can customize our snippet. So this one here is definitely variable, right? And so therefore we enter $1, which will be then a point where basically Visual Studio Code halts such that you can insert your custom text. Then here we have the second one, which will be the type of the input. Now, 90% of the time I'm using actually type input, so we can even provide here a default. And we do that by opening here the parenthesis, and after the colon, we can input a default text, which was a Studio Code should insert for us. So I'm adding here input. The next one is here $3, which will be the final breakpoint. And then finally, I want that the cursor jumps here to $4. Now we have everything set up, we can just copy that snippet, remove again back to Visual Studio Code, we open that My Code Snippets, and I'm just pasting it here below. I can save it. Now let's go back here. Let's remove this one here. So by hitting Control and Space, I can now type Formally Field. I can do Tab, and you can now see it holds here. I use first name. I leave input, which is the default one which I've provided. First name, which is the label. And then if I hit Next, I'm arriving here down here, so I can insert directly the next snippet. You can also open the common palette and do insert snippet. And then you can choose between the snippets you want to insert. For instance, here the form field or also the ones provided by various extensions. If you hit form field, the same thing happens as before.